What's up guys welcome back to yet another video so oneplus have started rolling out android 13 developer preview 3 for oneplus 10 pro so in this video let's quickly go through the changes of android 13 developer preview 3 so without wasting any more time let's get started here we have our oneplus 10 pro on which i've already installed android 13 and guys i won't recommend you all to install android 13 because it's still not usable as you can see here android version is android 13 if you tap on android 13 multiple times we still get to see the Android 12 Easter egg which comes with 5th May 2022 security patch if you go to version now the version is C.03 previously version was C.02 which was developer preview 2 and if you guys still want to install then you have to downgrade your device I don't know why oneplus have mentioned that you can directly upgrade from A.15 version I tried that but on my device I wasn't able to install it locally so I had to downgrade to the previous version using downgrade files and then performed a local upgrade you just have to download the file place it inside the internal storage install oneplus local update application tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and select the file this way you'll be able to update your device to android 13 developer preview 3 and guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 83 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you then do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video okay so basically android 13 developer previews are completely based on color os code base but as far as I know we got some internal information in which oneplus claims that we'll get to see older oxygen os with android 13 or you can say oxygen os 13 but still with closed beta testing as far as I know the builds which are released those are based on color os code base so here you can see this is how the quick setting tiles looks which is exactly similar to color os we do have the same launcher of color os though on this update I mean they had added this feature on the previous build itself which is match wallpaper color this is something like material you theming part but still in beta phase and not all applications support so if you enable this and tap on apply here you can see few stock applications of oneplus are being supported right now and that also looks quite weird this thing can be found in icon section you just have to tap on customs and select the option once you select and apply later if you come back this will be again disabled so you just need to tap on default to get back the previous icons on developer preview 2 we never used to see this wi-fi icon but that thing has been fixed with developer preview 3 wherein you can say quick setting tiles or status bar now we can clearly see the wi-fi icon if you install it for sure you guys will see random crashing of applications in my case oneplus game space application was crashing a lot so i had to completely remove that app and i also found a new feature in the recent panel so whenever you are in the recent panel if you are inside any application for example here you can see we have the gallery application aka photos if you tap on these three dots we have a new option called show content or hide content so using this way you can hide if any personal stuff or personal images are present then we do get the option of hide content and this feature seems to be working on most of the applications like here you can see on my files you can just tap on hide content and you'll see a white page on recents page also if you are into any application and swipe towards the top side you'll be able to open up the floating windows and now if you drag the application so here you can see it will show you the size so if you decrease the size it says mini increase standard and this is the full screen if you want to exit that floating windows so these two modes which were present but now we get to see the text of mini and standard for the camera stuff i have found almost everything working with no issues features like expand dual mode tilt shift pro mode these things seem to be working good on this latest build though on previous build i had noticed bit of issues with the camera application so these are the volume panels which are similar to color os and the same thing goes with the power menu with no doubt basic functionalities works fine like calling messaging wi-fi bluetooth and volte services along with these things we do have working fingerprint scanner and also face unlock feature AOD works absolutely fine. If you allow some necessary permissions of particular application, this is how this pop-up menu looks. Though it's huge in size, but we know with future builds or whenever we get the Oxygen OS beta, this thing will be sorted out. It won't be such huge. You'll see few stuff written in Chinese instead of English language. Because as said, it's a color OS code based still. We don't get to see universal search on both the OS. 
either it's 13 or 12 so you can only search for the specific applications which are present on your device though on android 13 we don't have the support of oneplus shelf so here you can see if you try to slide from the right top corner you just get to see that slide to access shelf but shelf doesn't pop up pressing on the applications for example gmail here we only get two options on the top side where one is app info and the second one is close on 13 we only get to see the icon but on 12 we used to see the text also and if you guys want we'll do a detailed comparison between android 13 and android 12 so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want that video we'll just cover up some basic stuff so this is how the settings panel look i personally like the setting panels of android 13 because here you have different color gradings for every setting also the battery section have been changed and with no doubt superbook charging works fine device hardly took around 25 to 30 minutes to completely charge Another one thing which is completely weird and doesn't look good and that's the notification panel if you're using your device in landscape mode. So for example if I'm watching any video on YouTube and if I slide down the notification panel here you can see the notification size is quite smaller and it doesn't even cover the entire quick setting panel space. Auto brightness isn't calibrated well and you'll also see bit of lags while unlocking the device. So here you can see if I press the unlock button first the always on display brightness increases and then you are able to see the lock screen so let me show you once again i'll tap on the power button there you can see and now we have the lock screen so this is another bug though i'm not complaining about all these bugs because these are expected on developer preview and beta builds and if you see some of the icons in the settings some of them are completely color filled but some does have only outlines about section is similar we have the option of ram expansion another thing which i liked in the settings panel is the segregation of sections which are pretty well segregated compared to oxygen os 12 things like ohaptic works similar to oxygen os 12 So guys compared to the previous build there are no major changes if you take a look at the change logs what oneplus have provided they have just mentioned the general bug fixes under the change log nothing else and you guys let me know whether you want me to cover entire features though i have covered most of the features but there are some features which i might have not come across and that i can only find out if i start using the device running android 13 so you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want more details on android 13 then i'll do a in-depth testing and try to find out more features so guys this was a quick look on android 13 developer preview 3 for oneplus 10 pro i won't recommend you guys to install it but still if you guys want to install it then you guys can find the installation guide in the description below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.